think one of the most satisfying things to make is homemade pasta. Incredibly simple and believe it or not, only two ingredients really, flour and eggs. Now what I've done is I've got my flour thrown onto the board and I made a little well in the middle into which I'm going to crack the eggs. It's a really easy recipe to remember. It's about 100 grams of flour to one egg. So I've got 600 grams of flour, six eggs, and one at a time, I'm just going to crack these straight into that well in the middle. Now I'm doing a straight egg pasta today, but it's one of those things where you can incorporate any number of flavors. Spinach is fantastic with it, some fresh herbs. One of my favorite things, especially when doing seafood dishes, is some saffron straight through that flour, which works beautifully with, with shellfish or any kind of fish, really. Great. Now, just using a kitchen knife, just going to incorporate all of that egg mixture into the flour. Bit by bit, slowly sort of widening that well, bringing in that flour very gradually. Now, believe it or not, this is going to end up as a beautifully smooth dough. So as soon as it starts thickening up, it's time to roll up your sleeves, really get your hands dirty. So at this point, I'm going to get rid of the knife and then slowly start bringing that flour in from the outside and mix it in with that egg. You can do this in a food processor, saves you a bit of time, but I find it much more satisfying really to, to do it by hand. And that's just a case of really working that dough, kind of using the, the heel of your hand, using your fingertips, really working it, stretching that gluten so you end up with that beautifully elastic, smooth pasta. Right, I'm just going to get rid of these bits here. The last thing you want are those dried pieces of flour and egg sort of mixing through that smooth dough. So I'll just brush that out of the way. Now just another couple of knees just to get that into a lovely smooth ball. And now I'm going to wrap it in cling film and then I'm going to pop that in the fridge and rest that for about half an hour. So the pasta's had enough time to rest. Let's move on to the next stage which is cutting it and rolling it. I'm going to take it out of that cling film. Now I tend to cut it into four and work with it a quarter at a time. Makes it much more manageable. So that's now I'm just going to put these bits to one side. Now with a tiny bit of flour on the board, just to make sure it doesn't stick, I'm just going to flatten that out very, very slightly to make it easier to work with in the roller. Now the pasta machines, they're, they're very straightforward. They're not very expensive at all. Um, and what they have is a number of different settings that start off from quite thick and they get thinner and thinner. So you start off with the thickest setting just to put it through a couple of times. So just feed that through gently. There we go. Now don't worry too much about the shape initially, you just want to pass it through probably twice to start off with. And once more. Now, as you see, it's getting longer and longer, but it's still a sort of manageable size. When it gets too long, we'll cut it in half and carry on from there. So, pop that to one side and drop that setting down one. Great. Now, you see that the piece of pasta actually tapers. So, what I'm going to do is if you fold that into a kind of rectangle, fold them in sort of three, you can then carry on again. You get a much more uniform piece to work with. So, back to the machine. and Karen as before, just repeating a couple of times on each setting. Now I'm going to be making tagliatelle today, so it does need to be very thin, but if for instance I was making raviolo with a lovely lobster filling, you'd get it down to the thinnest setting possible, but as I said, we don't need to go right down to the thinnest setting today. Lovely. So we've got a lovely piece of pasta, which is quite awkward because of the size. So I'm just going to cut that in half, just so it's kind of easy to handle. Then I can come to that other piece later. So now that we've rolled the pasta, we need to put it through the cutter. So we just attach that onto the machine and just move the handle over onto the setting for tagliatelle. Now we take our sheets and it's just a case, as with the roller, of putting it straight through. There we go. 
little pinch of flour just to make sure these bits don't stick together. Just dust them lightly. And repeat with the other pieces. And to cook it incredibly simple, just a boiling pan of salted water, no more than two or three minutes of perfectly cooked pasta.